Now, are the passport bros winning is your question that you're running with, yes? Say that one more time. Are the passport bros winning? Are the pat we're gonna figure it out. I don't wanna go ahead and jump out. I wanna well, I'm asking the audience. I'm just laying oh, it out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are they winning? Yeah, are they winning is what we're talking about. A lot of people think they are, you know what I mean? I don't know how you can gauge it. What's your definition of a passport, bro? Because you got niggas that go over line overseas and they're looking for some quick sets, some easy sets. Right. And you got some people that are going over there that are actually trying to find Look. a wife or something. Right. I think they more threatened by the people that go there to try to find a wife than the people that go there and trying to get some easy pussy because that's been I don't understand. Listen, this is what I've noticed. Anytime black men start mm-hmm. having fun or doing something, mm-hmm. it has to be shamed, mm-hmm. if not outlawed, mm-hmm. legal. I say that because you got white women going on the the uh the Rasa Safari shit, going to Jamaica, getting her getting their backs blown out. I seen videos mm. of uh white women getting her back blown out on like a side of like a fucking hut or like a house shit. You seen that shit? It went viral like two weeks ago. And she mm. was getting clapped and it was like a bunch of like either they're even Africans or Caribbeans. They were just like just niggas just standing around like waiting to slide. Like a train was getting ran. Mm. Jungle jungle games. Go, a jungle train. They have certain places in Africa where, like, uh, white European women fly there to have sex with the men. Like, right when they get there, it's like niggas walking around. They say it's the same thing in Jamaica. Why did you don't go to the hood? Bro, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is white women do it. Mm-hmm. Asian women, Asian men. Mm-hmm. Every demographic practices in mm-hmm. sex tourism. hmm because the first example I just showed you was black men being, uh, I guess, put in the same predicament as they're trying to victimize as these women are, right? Mm-hmm. Low, impoverished, looking for money, quick bag, whatever you're trying to paint as a, as a victim, that's what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. So, to build on that point, Stella got her groove back. What was that about? That was about, based off of a true book, mm-hmm. Angela Bassett going to Jamaica and found a husband in a third world country. You want to keep it a buck though? The only people got a problem with black men going overseas and winning is black women, bro. That's the only people that got a problem Listen, with this shit. Nobody else don't got no, I mean, nobody they got don't a, give a fuck. They got a show called 90 Day Fiance and it's about like Americans and shit, like going over there and dating foreigners and bringing them back over. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a whole business. It's a whole show about this type of shit, right? And it gets celebrated. It gets monetized. But now you got niggas talking about it. And niggas been talking about it, to be honest. Mm-hmm. This has been a conversation going on for years. Mm-hmm. Like, and now that certain people have seen it, they're blowing it up and making it something. But it's like, listen, if I don't like something, I'm going to mute it and get it off my timeline, right? Mm-hmm. I don't like Lil Nas X, right? I don't want to read any news about it, so I haven't muted it on Twitter. So I don't know what the fuck goes on with him mm-hmm. i don't know any news if what but if you give a voice to what you don't like then you're only amplifying it to other people who don't share your point of view and who might get on the same shit that you're trying to stop it's like say it's, it's like you're causing attention to something you want to actively suppress mm-hmm. so speaking on it directly contradicts what you want to happen to the movement because if it wasn't all these people against it making think pieces to their audience who don't know what it is outside of them bringing it up right mm-hmm. if you bring it up to the audience and don't know what you're talking about until you talk about it and you're talking about it negatively as you want it to stop you're pretty much assuming that the people you're telling align with your way of thinking because some people that you're telling and this is new information they might be like hey that's a good idea hey that's not something i would do mm-hmm. hey you know what they're not wrong you're kind of crazy and now you're adding support to something you're actively hating on. Mm-hmm. You're giving free promotion. That's what like being a hater is. Like you're giving free promotion in a way. I think it's two sides to the passport bros that people are getting confused. I think they put them all together. I think it's one side of the passport bros that pissing people off. It's the part of the passport bros that come back and be like, yo, 
they're disparaging to black women. You know what I mean? And they're saying that, yo, these black women ain't shit. I'm going overseas. I'm getting so much cooperation. That's a part of that's causing the problem with the passport, bros. Um, and you do have the other side is like the other side of the honest men that go overseas. And they just like, yo, I don't want to be a part of baby mama culture. Or they necessarily don't want to be a part of ghetto black culture. And they don't seem like they can find the cooperation that they need in America. And they just honestly going over there and they want to create a nice family. So I think that other side of the passport, bro, is the boys that's going over there that just want to go over there, talk shit and just fuck on stuff. And they not getting their way in America. I think they coming back and starting confusion. I don't think, you know, I I mean, black women don't really want to get married. No way. So I don't think black women really care that the passport bros are going overseas and doing their thing. I just think it's just more of the braggadocious ones that's causing us confusion. And the one that's being disparaging, of course. Yeah, I personally think that that is now becoming a cop out to the. um, That's becoming a cop out of most women who oppose what black men are doing. They always pick the minority of niggas who do something Mm -hmm. that speak against black women. And they they use those minorities to say the reason why we don't like the whole act is because they think that they hate black women or they're saying they hate black women. And it's like, not all of them are saying they hate black women. Not all of them are saying F black women. Like you may have a few videos of certain niggas getting in that bag, but that may not be the majority of all these passport bros. And the passport bros are only the black men because it's everybody's doing it. But now you're targeting, you're, 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 I won't say targeting, you're you're zeroing in Mm -hmm. on the black male demographic Mm -hmm. who participate. Mm Mm-hmm. And the main point that they want to use is that you speak anti-black male rhetoric while you do these things. And you're really talking about a small minority of those people. A loud minority does not equal the majority of people who participate in it. And for that to be another blanket argument you use in another situation where your position, not you, but certain people's position is always anti whatever niggas is on. Mm -hmm. Is always will you speak anti? There's anti black, uh, there's anti black female rhetoric in whatever movement you got going on. They always point that out and bring that to a point and not look at the service of things. And at the end of the day, the service of the situation is if a nigga is going to another country, he is giving up on the country of women, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, mm. all that shit. If a nigga is leaving America. He's giving up on American women. It's deeper than old black women. Is mm. they're leaving the country? Mm. It's the women in the country that what they say. They don't say, "Oh, they're gonna start acting black." No, they say Americanized, right? But the passport then, bros are black. When I hear, because you know, white men been doing their thing traveling. FBJ, they right. ain't calling no whole bunch of white men with passports going overseas doing their thing. No, bro, we talk about the niggas like the first generation. Like, come on, we like the first generation of black men at a good percentage that can travel. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that can afford to, of course. Yeah, of course. So they talking about the black men. They calling us passport bros. They don't care about what the white men do. They feel but like what's the white wrong? Men what's wrong around. with what's what's wrong with black men participating in sex tourism like everyone else? Stella got her groove back. Came out in the nineties. Mm-hmm. So black women apparently have been doing it to such a point. Where somebody thought they could make a profitable book that turned into mm. a profitable movie back in the 90s. So you had been doing it in the 80s and the 70s and before. Mm. But I'm saying if you had a movie to come out, there's like we was talking about something else. Like they make a movie of it because it's getting news now. Mm. But it's like, bro, it's not a movie about it ever. Mm. So for them to make a Stella got her groove back about a Jamaican Tay Diggs mm. in 1996-97, then obviously when was a book written? 1992 or some shit we could look it up but when was the actual story happening 80 something so what i'm saying is people have benefited off sex tourism like the 90 day fiance mm-hmm. these niggas talking about uh buying a, a russian wife or swedish you know what i'm saying a mail order wife every there's jokes about it and it's normalized but once black men do it then it turns into a negative or it's demonized because it's it's like oh niggas is it's shamed once black men get into anything just like anything, bro. You don't mind going anywhere and seeing black women anywhere. 
But the minute you see black men anywhere, it immediately brings the value down of anywhere you go. Niggas don't care if you go somewhere there's a bunch of a blunt bunch bunch of women there mm -hmm. of any race. Just like white men tell you, men men in general might tell you, yo, I, I um, I I, well, uh, I don't mind the women. I mind the men. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the point. So I'm not saying that. All the niggas who participate in the passport bro culture are great guys. I know some uh, individuals who used to preach on that on Clubhouse that ended up something happening with him as far as his his cleanliness and it's like oh he caught a little something. Oh, that's what I'll be wearing. I'm not gonna get to, no no I'm not getting to his bag, but all I'm saying mm. is this: like it's been I've heard negative stories in reality, not even about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like the password broker. Like I said, I've been studying. I ain't like studying, but you know what I'm saying? Like watching video. I've been up on this shit mm -hmm. for a few years now. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't have my passport, so I don't qualify as a passport, bro. Mm -hmm. Before anybody's like, this nigga's on that same shit. Mm -hmm. Literally, I'm not. I can't. I haven't. And even if I did, I wouldn't be just flying out there, finding wives and just, I mean, like, no. Like, what are we talking about? Anyways, but my point is this. I don't have an issue with niggas doing it. My issue comes with, um, like, just like shitty people who who participate in sex practices or sex tourism anyways. Mm -hmm. But don't highlight the potential shitty people or the people who may be speaking negative against your politic as the whole reason why you're against something. You're mm -hmm. really against who's doing it more than what's being done. Mm. And that is the conversation at hand. You know who I think started the Passport Bros? One of like the people who first started talking about it on the big level and people don't give him credit for it. And he used to always talk about going to Brazil and fucking bitches. Patrice O'Neill. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I really think Patrice O'Neill started the whole manosphere, to be honest. Yeah, that's a good argument to make. But is but just to get back on the topic, is mm -hmm. the thing that kills me about the situation is this, right? If niggas aren't if these aren't the men you like, if every time you seem like, oh, yeah, they got a particular look, oh, yeah, these look dusty niggas, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you always speaking negative on the guys who are doing it, then obviously those aren't the men that you would want in America anyways. Mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't pick them anyways. And they know that, mm -hmm. and they don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. So they're like, well, maybe there's somebody out there in this world for me. Mm -hmm. Well, see, they don't want black men to feel empowered. See, the thing about it is black men, like, is the last men really to, like, man up. So now in America, you know, the black man is used to getting pump, pumped, you know what I mean? Pumped around. So they don't want you to go out other places and um, experience respect from different cultures and different people and different people doing their thing. So they want to keep Detroit you in here. the building. Detroit, what is that? 213 in the building? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. They want to keep you here where you don't have no options, where bad treatment Baby mama culture, that's not what you want to deal with. You know, ratchet black woman culture, you know what I mean? They want to feel, they want you to feel like, yo, this is what you're dealing with. Because, you know, like, the black community is ran by black women. So black women, of course, don't want you to, to want you, it's like a cult. They don't want you to know it's options outside of what they laying out for you, so... That's just why you're getting the backlash that you're getting. And men is promoting it more online and it's spreading. Like, I even thought about going over to Thailand and and different places and just doing my thing for a little bit, you know? Why not? I just wish I knew how to speak another language. But I'm, it makes sense. Listen, I get my passport. You know, we're going to be flying around the country. I'm going to be flying around the world. And if it's some bad bitches around the world, of course, if I'm in Spain, there's some bad hoes. Like, yeah, we're going to slide on the hoes. Like, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Like, I'm coming here to, like, hang out. But, like, my thing is this, right? When I travel with my passport, I'm going to be going to fly as places. And if it's women there, then, of course. But I don't think I'm going to be making, like, um, like sex-directed trips. Does that make sense? Mm 